Hello, welcome back to Set and Reacts. Today we're going to be watching season 5, episode 15 of Breaking Bad, and this one's called Granite Slate. So, yeah, last episode was um, terrible <laughs> emotionally, and <laughs> I'm still not over it. I edited the YouTube version the other day, and I was just trying not to sob, <laughs> trying to edit through foggy eyes, but <laughs> God. But I hate Walter more than ever. His whole this is all your fault Skylar thing at the end I don't know if you know, I'm sure people saw the good in it and were like see what well, I still cares about his family and he may well do but he's still he's still an asshole and I want him to die okay die seems as though Jesse is now being held captive by Todd and I kind of wonder if that was Todd's idea because he was saying let me interrogate Jesse about what he knows and the DA and stuff like that. But when I think maybe that was his excuse to get a hold of Jesse so he could force him to cook or to teach Todd to cook I guess and then once he's lost his value he'll probably just kill him and I just think oh. Walter Jr has always annoyed me as a character but at least he was the only one that was doing anything right. Him and Marie last episode. So he's, so he's less annoying now in my eyes. <laughs> I don't know, last two episodes, I'm wondering if they're just going to go balls out crazy with it, but we'll see. I mean, we've kind of got hints of what Walter's got planned with the gun, but I don't know. Maybe he's going to go after the Nazis, I don't know. But enough Charion, and let's get into it. Is this the guy who's going to help Walter disappear? Oh. And I don't like to do this. But, uh, you'll ever bunk me. Is Walter gonna be now there? For the moment. <laughs> Still got his back. Then we turn around and there is this kid on a dirt bike looking at us. The one that talks to the Drew Sharp. Crap. He ratted you out personally. We still got 600 gallons of meth in me. Meth? They're not mad about him shooting the kid, they're mad about him ratting on you. We've got all the money in the world. God. Go on, Hannibal Lecter, steal it. Steal it. Steal it. Steal it. What are you cops? <laughs> you know a guy who knows a guy. No, just give me the contacts. Uh, anybody He's in that room? I'm paying top dollar. We'll find them even buy her a mistrial in a year and a half until then if they don't have you they're going after her there's no point she knows nothing well too bad for her then she's got nothing to trade i hate to be a downer here but there are two dea agents missing presumed dead you think the feds are going to just let that go because you hit the ejector seat getting it to her impossible the feds are just praying that you'll make contact. The internet, the phone. See, this all is what I say. Walter hey, just wants to go. Mike was no dummy. It's so short sighted. He just wants to go hit man. Blah 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 blah. Walter is Uncle Sam's pocket. Can't can speak. Hit man. Skylar's in his blah blah blah. Well, soul sinking. You know, a million times, a million steps ahead. <laughs> I mean, how much time have you got left? What I do, I do for my family. They're going to turn yourself in. My money. Goes to my children, not just this barrel. All of it. Remember what I told you. It's not over. Pardon. You can just. You could probably knock him over with a fucking window right now. <laughs> you want to go on your weird little suicide mission? Have at it, but leave Saul alone, okay? I don't want him to die as well. I mean, I'm just thinking now, Saul was right about the house being gone because all the little flash forwards, the house has been abandoned, but we haven't seen anybody but Walter, so I don't know where everyone is. 417, no activity. So quiet. <laughs> Tell that's Todd. He's at his friend's house. He's been there all week. I don't want to say I told you so. Please. 
She's just like, 90%. Yeah, 90%, yeah. It's a risk. And risk is what you're paying me for, not toilet paper. Risk and a 4,400 mile round trip. Mr. Lambert. It reminds me of that. I don't usually have an ongoing relationship. Normally, you and I would have already gone our separate ways, but you're you. <laughs> We bring that along, did he? I'm so not the right audience for this scene. <laughs> I think you should take a step back and think. Make an actual plan. Don't just keep acting on impulse. A couple of cases of insure, maybe put a little weight on you. Jesus. Take that personally under the circumstances. Those working for you? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice way to uh took a run by your old house. Uh the auction is still pending. They keep us updated with around. the timeline. <laughs> put up a fence. Seems like having him explain everything. Kind of like forest attraction. Mm -hmm. well, as well as this is the reason you asked the new classes and the hair and the yeah, yeah, that in the uh physical. Little clips we've been getting. I will see you on. Let's see. Hold on a sec, honey. Son, it's me. Please don't let on. Carmen's nearby, right? No, she cannot know. Intended. I never intended. You want. It's in money. You killed Uncle Hank. You killed him. Wait, wait, son. No, what you did to mom, you asshole. 
You killed Uncle Hank. Hey, listen to me. You've got to listen to me. Sick of all the same. No, listen to me. I don't give a shit. You killed Uncle Hank. You killed him. Come on, Jesus. Leave us alone. You asshole. Why are you still alive? Why don't you just, just die already? Just, just, just die. die. <laughs> Why did he think that that would work? Reports of blue methamphetamine considered his signature. Oh, he's not being artsy over these two, is he? God, misplaced Andrew. As far as Europe, so my question is. No, he's not. The sweet, kind, brilliant man that we once knew long ago. He's God Beanie, what's up? The theme song in the episode. <laughs> Season 5, episode 15 of Breaking Bad. Ugh. Now he's gonna, is he gonna go and see those two whose names I cannot remember? <laughs> Not seen them for a while to be fair though, so I don't know. But misplaced anger, which Walter Jr. was so rightfully angry with him. It, <laughs> Walter's audacity always makes me laugh. <laughs> and he always goes into situations, I think with an outcome, like a certain outcome. And then when things don't go wrong, that's when he starts like fluttering and he's like, just listen to me, just listen to me, just listen to me. And that always makes me laugh as well. And I just think, why does he never think of other possibilities that could happen because of something he does? Like maybe he thought Walter Jr. would just be happy to hear that he was alive and that they needed money or whatever, but you know, I thought he was just gonna say, I thought he was just gonna say, we don't need your money, and then hang up. But I like what he said better. <laughs> Hate Tony even more now. I mean, I mean, Andrea dying was no Hank dying, so, but I didn't, I didn't really see it coming. I did wonder why they didn't shoot Jesse immediately, and then I should have seen it coming, but I completely forgot that they were kind of using Andrea and Brock as like leverage. But I don't like the fact that she was just like, yeah, huh, oh, let me just walk into the night. <laughs> For God's sake. I don't know, eh? We've only got one episode left. One fucking episode left. Now I'm just like, because I knew the whole time he was going to leave the reservation because we've seen him, you know, in, in the diner and then at his old house and all that stuff. And I don't know. So yeah, full length and daily access is available on patreon.com forward slash Sarah I'll see you next time.